How to claim users in Control Hub for your paid organization. Learn how to claim users that have signed up for free WebEx services before being added to the paid org. For that, we divided the content into sections. First, we're going to create a free user account and see what happens. And secondly, easy steps that the Control Hub administrator has to perform to claim a user. In this example, we have a user signing in with the social login and the Microsoft account into Bitcast. After creation, provisioning is done and the user will exist on consumer org where all free accounts exist. Since this user used an email domain that you own to sign up for a WebEx account, you can claim them into your organization and you don't have to claim the domains to claim the users. After claiming is finalized, as we're going to see in the second section, Control Hub administrators can now manage this user account. An important consideration before claiming users is that you can enable the option to allow users to bring their WebEx conversations with them. This feature applies only to personal WebEx accounts. Consider that you can migrate a user from one enterprise organization to another, indeed, but you can't transfer their WebEx conversations. Also, deleting your original organization uh, permanently deletes all the information associated with your organization, including data for all users. You will lose data like WebEx app messages and files and all WebEx meetings data, including WebEx meetings, URLs, and meeting recordings. There are two types of claiming options. The first one is the immediate claim. So where WebEx add the account to the organization right away and the administrator can start managing and assigning licenses to them. Users can decide what to do with their old user account the next time they sign in. Delay claim exists as well, and users have 14 days to decide whether to migrate their WebEx conversations from their old account to their new account. If they don't make a decision in 14 days, WebEx will automatically move their accounts and WebEx conversations to your organization. If you don't want users to bring their WebEx conversation with them, you can disable that as well. Now, there are some considerations where the users won't be eligible for that delay claim, and I'm listing them here. Now let's move forward with the second section, Administrator Claims Account in the Org. Administrator can navigate to the Getting Started section in Control Hub to get guidance on what's next. The admin will click on Claim your users to understand the actions and the prerequisites that are mandatory, which in this case are met. Domains has been verified in previous video and directory connector has never been enabled in this series of videos. Also, the tab includes easy access to the documentation if required. Admins can navigate to the help article to understand the process and the impact that this action will have on the user. Now let's go back to Control Hub to continue and click on Get Started. I'll navigate to Manage Users and then click on Claim Users. In there, we can see that the demo user that signed up into Bitcast in the first part of this recording is listed as a potential claim, given that the domain matches with the verified domain. I will agree on the impact of this change and then click on Add Users and the user has been claimed. Upon claiming, the user will receive an email notification about that the IT team of the company is managing the account for the service. And that has been all. Thank you for watching.